welcome to Display Trivia. It's not quite time to turn back just yet. Are you ready for the final leg of our journey? What about the final arm of our journey? Yeah, think about that one and get back to me, okay? Tonight's pot is $1,000. We were so close to five, but it's okay. Plenty more games to come. And here are the rules. You're going to have 10 seconds to pick your answer and choose wisely, because say it with me, once you tap, there's no going back. If you miss one, you will no longer be eligible for the cash prize, but stay in the game because you can keep playing along for fun. Speaking of fun, was that fun? Did you enjoy seeing a dog on the screen? I mean my doggy voice. You're all such good boys and girls. Yes, you're ready for a practice question. I think you are, yeah, because you don't want to hear that voice anymore. So tell me, <laughs> this one's personal. Are you married? Yes, <laughs> no, was and looking for love. Yes, and never again. Tell me, were you married? Did you say yes to the dress? Oh my God, what did the dress say back? Sister, spill. That dress is Chatty Cathy. Ah, marriage. Are you marriage material? Are you winner material for trivia? The overwhelming response is no, no marriage. All right, I hear you, I got it. No questions about marriage ever again. Y'all ready to do this? Time to trivia, here we go. It's question one. In social media, users typically can tag other users using what symbol? At and asterisk. In social media, users typically can tag others using what symbol? At and asterisk. Let's see who's been watching their display tips of the day while Professor Sarah's class has been in session. Hey, hey, no chewing gum in here. Guys, quit messing around. Stop it. Am I gonna need to make everyone stay after school? For detention? There was a detention kid in here. I actually never got a detention. I was voted biggest teacher's pet. Do you believe that? You do, you probably do believe it. Come on, I'm a trivia host. But no one needs to stay after class. Well, at least 3% of you uh, maybe do. But 97% of you are you're crazy kids, you got this, yes. Uh, you ready to move on to the next lesson? Displavies, you know I love you, let's do this. Question two. Which of the seven continents is the only one that is also a sovereign nation? South America, Australia, Europe. Which of the seven continents is the only one that is also a sovereign nation? South America, Australia, Europe. Antarctica isn't one because no one there is actually a citizen, and there is no government. I mean, how adorable would a penguin democracy be? But unfortunately, it hasn't happened yet. And don't say, oh, but in Happy Feet, Happy Feet, unfortunately, is very much fiction. I know, I know. I was sad when I found that out too. Yeah, I was sad when I found out that pe penguins don't tap dance, but we're adults, so we must move on. And uh, we're moving on to Q3 because 89% of you got this right. Bravo. Let's tap on in, Q3. All of the following are English vowels sung in the tune Old MacDonald except E, I, U. All of the following are English vowels sung in the tune Old MacDonald except E, I, U. The English vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. And I think it's so great that Y is so comfortable with who they are that they don't necessarily need labels to define them. Let's stop asking why if it's a vowel and stop asking women when they're gonna have babies. <sighs> you all answer that marriage question. Think of how we feel. Yeah, thank you, Y, for this lesson in healthy boundaries. But what about you? No, not you guys. You're killing it with 92% of you getting it right, but you not in the song. Next question, question four. Which is not a type of flowering plant that sprouts from a bulb? Rose, tulip, daffodil. Which is not a type of flowering plant that sprouts from a bulb? Rose, tulip, daffodil. How many gardeners does it take to screw in a flower bulb? I'm not so sure, but I absolutely light up when I see these flowers all over after the winter. How about a lily popping up from the snow? 
No, instant antidepressant right there. I mean, things that always perk me up, flowers, and my display is absolutely crushing it. 85% of you are shooting up into question five. According to Freudian psychology, all of the following are parts of the human psyche except id, ego, uber id. According to Freudian psychology, all of the following are parts of the human psyche except id, ego, uber id. Don't Freudian slip up on this question now. You're getting stressed. Hey, 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 Sly down and breathe. How does that make you feel? Through the nose, out through the mouth, display these. Freud delineated the human psyche into id, the conscious, ego, the part of ourselves we show the world, and super ego, the voice that acts as a conscience. Uber id is how you got from the airport back to your friend's apartment, silly. 88% of you excelling into question six. All of the following are correct spellings of the antiquated word for a Russian ruler except Tsar, Tsar, or Tsar? Which one? All of the following are correct spellings of the antiquated word for a Russian ruler except Tsar, Tsar, or Tsar. Which one? Twinkle, twinkle, little Tsar, how I wonder what you are. Spelled like, there are multiple ways to spell this word, as is wont to happen with many a foreign term that gets absorbed by a different language, like Hanukkah. I mean, depending on who you ask, sometimes that thing has a CH. Call me crazy with a CH, but how does that even make sense? I'll leave the linguistics to you all because 89% of you got this. Let's see if you can continue your reign into question seven. Which is a symbol of peace that originates from this country where the Olympics are about to be held? Paper crane, olive branch, dove. Which is a symbol of peace that originates from this country where the Olympics are about to be held? Paper crane, olive branch, dove. The Olympics were supposed to be held last year, but in case you weren't paying attention, last year got a little delayed. The whole year just got pushed back a tad. So yeah, Merry Christmas. Sorry, I'm just trying to get in everything that I missed in 2020 so I can get caught up. Funny enough, I did not have a birthday though. So weird. Uh, the summer 2021 Olympics are about to be held in Tokyo, Japan, whose cultural symbol of peace is an origami crane. 64% of you showing no signs of folding. It's time for question eight. This color in the beige family comes from the French word for unbleached, taupe, fawn, ecru. This color in the beige family comes from the French word for unbleached, taupe, fawn, ecru be a fancy color because usually stuff that comes from a French word is fancy. You don't believe me? Okay. Examples. Baguette, fancy for bread. Avenue, fancy for street. Fiance, fancy for person I'm going to marry. Ooh la la, that's just fancy. I mean, look at all you fancy pants. 89% of you to be exact getting it. I hope you accrue the right answer in question nine. The appearance of this George Lucas creature from Endor was inspired by what breed of dog? Athen Pinscher, Pekingese, Brussels Griffon. The appearance of this George Lucas creature from Endor was inspired by what breed of dog? Athen Pinscher, Pekingese, Brussels Griffon. Yes, legendary filmmaker George Lucas used dogs for a lot of his inspiration. Chewbacca, the Wookiee, was inspired by his Alaskan Malamute and the name Alaskan Malamute apparently inspired the title for his action franchise, Indiana Jones. Funny, I think Indiana Jones would make a really great name for a border collie. I don't know, I just get those vibes. George Lucas used the Brussels Griffon, which he kept as a pet at the time, as inspiration for the Ewoks facial features. 85% of you got that, and it's time for the final question. Q10. Pennsylvania Dutch is a variety of a linguistics dialect that originated in the country with this capital city, Amsterdam, Berlin, Copenhagen. Pennsylvania Dutch is a variety of a linguistic dialect that originated in the country with this capital city, 
Amsterdam, Berlin, Copenhagen. What about Pennsylvania Double Dutch? That sounds fun. Ooh, or a Pennsylvania Dutch oven. That doesn't sound so fun. If you know, you know. But let's keep our eyes on the prize because some of you are so close to this money and I haven't even seen you break a sweat. I really haven't seen you at all, actually, because what, I mean, you know. But I can feel how well you are doing. Can you feel the love tonight? I always can. 72% of you are getting more than a feeling. You're getting the right answer on this last one. Pennsylvania Dutch is used to describe the German or Dutch community that settled in the United States, Pennsylvania. Woohoo! We got some winners! Yes! All right, everybody. You came, you slayed, you displayed your knowledge, and you got paid. Bravo! Throw